guys, it's right. Louis the Bullet, man. That's right. We're here working, working, working. That's right. It's that time of the year. It's the season, baby. What? Heating season. Right now, we have another customer, a great customer, Gala Fresh Supermarkets. That's right. Gala Fresh hired us to what? Fix their heating equipment. Listen, they called other people. They can't get the job done. And guess who they called? Call Louis the Boiler Man. So right now, I'm going to take you to the shop and show you what's going to go on. I fucked up. <laughs> Don't worry. Come on down. I'm going to show you what it is. A day with Louis the Boiler Man. That's right. At New York Border in Air Condition Repair. Wepa. Till you can't stand any more than yet. I'll be doing handstands till I drain the tank. Oh fuck it, bro. I'm wrecked, man. I'm up next on the keg stand. I just want to tell you what it takes to help people, help customers, help clients to get their heat equipment up and going on a cold day. I'm up next on the keg stand. One, two, three kegs on the floor through another barrel. Where, where the magic happens, you know what? In the roof. In this case, we're working on a rooftop unit here in Gala Fresh. There's several units that you guys can see. We're working on all of them, but today we're working on two, two specifically. Come on down, let me show you. Get cleaned up while my bitch arrives. I told the neighbors I'm planning a little shit. All right, we're working on this unit today, as well as the second unit on that side. We're working on today. We're installing what's called a fan inducer motor assembly and also an air pressure switch. They're both not firing because. You don't have fan inducer? It's not gonna work. Let me show you. So right now we're working on a York rooftop unit, HVAC unit, heating and cooling. The model we're working on is called the DM150 and is an anti-20 and is an anti-2 AAA 4B. That is the model number. This is unit is a little old on the older side, but they all work pretty much the same, same way with this new old. But just wanna give you a heads up on what we're working on. Check this out. So right now I have my assistant working. We're opening the door. This is where the fan inducer assembly is at. Get sick, don't get sick, over here. That's it guys, you see, it's called the fan inducer assembly. So this is what we're changing. And we're also changing an air pressure switch right here. So understand when the unit turns on, when it's calling for heat, the burners turn on, the fan inducer motor also turns on. Why? Because it's creating a mechanical exhaust. There is no chimney as you guys can see. So this is actually sucking the fumes and blowing it right out to the side, out of the ambient air. But of course, we also change, have to change the air pressure switch. The purpose of the air pressure switch is basically sensing draft. So if this motor is working, this senses a draft, this tells the computer that it, it makes a micro switch inside, tells the computer that everything's okay. Basically, just informing the computer, or in this case, the circuit board, the actual inducer fan inducer motor, the mechanical motor is actually working. If this is not working, this is not creating create a draft, it's gonna tell the computer, basically, there's no draft, something is wrong, it's not safe, shut up. All right, guys, listen, this is the old inducer motor. As you guys can see, I don't know if you can see here, you can picture it, this has to spin freely. You see this? I'm pushing this one finger and it's stuck. What does that mean? It's seized. And that's what burnt out the motor. So, you know you need lubrication, you know? You gotta put lubrication. This needs some lubrication. In this case, there's no lubrication. It's seized at the end of the motor. So, if you know anything mechanic, you need lubrication, guys. You know what that means, right? Right, right? So, next time, you have something mechanical or something is going in, you know what that means? Lubrication. That's right, baby!